Okay. Well, Crazy Horse Memorial would like to welcome you folks to uh, uh, our location here. I'm Pat Dobbs. I'm the media relations specialist. And it was started in 1948 by sculptor Korczak Julkowski and Chief Henry Standing Bear. And it's to honor the Native American uh, cultures and traditions, not only for tribes in the United States, but Canada as well. And a healthy part of that tradition happens to be the military and the defense of the people, which you speak to in the tour that you're taking. And the Native Americans to this day are highly represented in the armed forces uh, as a percentage basis, higher than most other ethnic uh, races in the military. And the folks will see a number of displays here that will uh, speak to that. Okay. Is there anything else that you'd like to, um, if we one are. thing that you'd like to let the American people know? Defense of the country and the freedom and the protection of the people was very much what Crazy Horse the Man, Tashunka Rico, was all about. And you see that here at Crazy Horse. And uh, we're extremely popular with veterans, uh, particularly those of the uh, World War II era. Uh, and uh, Vietnam veterans, you'll see a number of them, particularly Native Americans, as they come here. Okay. And uh, to point, point this one thing out, Crazy Horse is open every day. Admission is free to Native Americans and the military. Okay. And um, as you look toward achieving your goal of finishing the project, um, other ways that, that people have helped, you said that some things have been donated here, as well as the funding to continue to finish Correct. the great work. That's right. Here in the uh, uh, museum, all of the items that you will see have been provided uh, by the public. We have a growing collection of tribal flags that have been provided by tribal members as well as tribal councils. Uh, throughout the donations work that's being done on the mountain carving, right now it's focused on the uh, horse's head. Uh, the public is matching. We have a $5 million challenge grant. The public so far has uh, given $4.4 million for that. We also have a uh, scholarship fund for Native American students. It got started with a single grant of $250 in 1978. We're now up to a million and a half. That's principally for Native American students attending school in South Dakota. And then the big one that we got started in this will be the second year. We have the Indian University of North America. And that was the plan that Korchak Julkowski had from the beginning. And we have 34 students this year. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you.